It's a very good question which we get asked a lot. I think the first thing people need to recognise is there's no such thing, really, as 100% compliance. There are so many laws, regulations and different taxes now in this country and it's the same around the world that for a staffing company or a hire to be absolutely confident that absolutely every risk is covered off is pretty much impossible. What they have to do, in our view, as a first step, is work out what the result for them of a breach of the relevant law, tax, regulation is. Um, will it involve personal liability, whether for an officer of the HARA or for someone involved in the staffing company? Will it involve liability for the HARA or for the staffing company or will liability just lie with the relevant worker or intermediary um, that, that is you know at the bottom of the supply chain. I think every single piece of tax, regulation, law, whatever it is, needs to be looked at in context to see what actually will happen if there is a breach. And included within that is a slightly pragmatic look at what is the likelihood of the relevant regulators or enforcers actually enforcing the legislation and how easy is it for them to bring a claim. Perhaps the legislation isn't well drafted and so they pull away perhaps from pushing things too hard because they know they won't get a slam dunk um, assessment or um, you know successful award in a court.